Proxima Centauri, the closest known star to our solar system, has long captured the interest of astronomers. This dim, diminutive red dwarf, first identified in 1915 by Scottish astronomer Robert Innes, is part of the Alpha Centauri system, which also includes Alpha Centauri A and B. Despite being just 4.24 light years away, Proxima Centauri is not visible to the naked eye due to its low luminosity. Nevertheless, its scientific significance is immense, particularly as the host star Proxima b, an exoplanet located within its habitable zone. Red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri are smaller, cooler, and have much longer lifespans than stars like our sun. Their relatively low brightness places their habitable zones much closer to the star. In the case of Proxima Centauri, Proxima b orbits at just 0.05 astronomical units AU, a tiny fraction of the distance between Earth and the Sun. This close proximity, however, exposes Proxima b to intense stellar activity, including powerful solar flares and heightened radiation levels, likely resulting in an atmosphere very different from Earth's. The discovery of Proxima b marked a major milestone in exoplanet research. Using the radial velocity method, astronomers detected minute wobbles in Proxima Centauri's motion caused by the gravitational pull of an orbiting planet. These shifts allowed scientists to estimate the planet's mass and orbital period. In 2016, the European Southern Observatory officially confirmed the existence of Proxima b, sparking new hopes in the search for potentially habitable worlds. Despite valuable data gathered through ground-based telescopes, observations remain limited. Earth's atmosphere causes distortion and light interference, preventing detailed analysis of the planet's surface or atmospheric composition. Most of what we know, such as its mass, orbital distance, and general characteristics, comes from indirect measurements. To deepen our understanding of Proxima b's environment and its habitability potential, more advanced instruments are essential. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. JWST is not just another telescope. It is a revolutionary leap in astronomical technology designed to surpass the capabilities of the Hubble Space Telescope. While Hubble has yielded profound insights, it primarily observes invisible and ultraviolet light. In contrast, JWST is optimized for infrared observation, enabling it to peer through cosmic dust clouds and detect phenomena that are invisible to Hubble. One of JWST's defining features is its 6.5-meter primary mirror, over twice the size of Hubble's, composed of 18 gold-coated hexagonal segments. This allows JWST to collect far more light, making it capable of detecting faint, distant objects with unprecedented precision. Another innovation is its sunshield, which keeps the instruments at an ultra-cold temperature of around minus 233 degrees Celsius, vital for detecting faint infrared signals without contamination from the telescope's own heat. Unlike Hubble, which orbits Earth, JWST operates from the second Lagrange point L2, located about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. This stable position minimizes heat and light interference from Earth, enabling JWST to perform continuous, uninterrupted observations. Proxima Centauri remains a key gateway to studying exoplanetary systems. As our closest stellar neighbor, offers a rare opportunity to explore the conditions that may support life beyond Earth. And with Proxima b, a rocky, Earth-sized planet potentially capable of holding water, we have one of the most compelling targets in our quest to answer the age-old question, are we alone? The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has the extraordinary capability to observe everything from the earliest galaxies in the universe to the atmospheres of distant exoplanets like Proxima b. Its strength lies in its ability to detect infrared light, allowing astronomers to study redshifted phenomena objects whose light has stretched to longer wavelengths due to the universe's expansion. But JWST goes far beyond passive observation. It's engineered to help answer some of the most profound scientific questions. How did galaxies form? What triggers star formation? And under what conditions might life exist elsewhere in the cosmos? With advanced instruments like the near-infrared camera and IR cam, the mid-infrared instrument MIRI, and the near-infrared spectrograph and IR spec, JWST functions not just as a telescope, but as a time machine, a laboratory, and a monument to human innovation. Among the telescope's most intriguing targets is Proxima b, a planet that has captured the imagination of scientists and the public alike. 
orbiting within the habitable zone of its parent star, Proxima Centauri. This Earth-sized exoplanet has the potential to harbor liquid water, a key ingredient for life. Roughly 1.17 times the mass of Earth, and likely rocky in composition, Proxima B's proximity to us, just over four light years away, makes it an ideal candidate for studying extraterrestrial habitability. However, Proxima B is far from a perfect Earth twin. One of its most defining features is tidal locking, meaning one hemisphere constantly faces its star, while the other remains in permanent darkness. This creates dramatic temperature contrasts, but the boundary region between the day and night sides, known as the Terminator, may offer a temperate zone where conditions could support liquid water and possibly life. The environment on Proxima B is harsh. Its host star, Proxima Centauri, is a highly active red dwarf known for powerful stellar flares, eruptions of X-rays and ultraviolet radiation that could strip away a planet's atmosphere over time. For Proxima B to retain an atmosphere in such a hostile setting, it would likely need a strong magnetic field to shield it from this space weather. Without such protection, the surface would be extremely inhospitable to any life as we know it. Yet, the possibility of life remains. The planet's location within the habitable zone raises the hope that liquid water might still exist, perhaps not on the surface, but in underground reservoirs where conditions are more stable. This has led researchers to draw comparisons to Earth's extremophiles, organisms that survive in extreme conditions such as deep-sea hydrothermal vents or highly radioactive environments. If life exists on Proxima b, it may have evolved similar survival mechanisms, including radiation resistance, subterranean living, or entirely different biochemical strategies. The search for life on Proxima b is more than a scientific mission. It's a philosophical quest. It touches on one of humanity's oldest and deepest questions. Are we alone in the universe? As an Earth-like planet in the habitable zone of our nearest stellar neighbor, Proxima b presents one of our best opportunities to explore this mystery. Nevertheless, any assessment of its habitability must take into account the volatile nature of its parent star. Proxima Centauri, while smaller and cooler than our sun, is significantly more active. Its habitable zone lies much closer in, equivalent to about five cents compared to Earth's one Australian dollar, resulting in a tight orbit that leaves Proxima be constantly exposed to stellar flare activity. These flares emit high-energy particles that, over time, could strip away a planet's atmosphere or bombard the surface with harmful radiation. Even if an atmosphere manages to persist, intense ultraviolet radiation could interfere with the formation of complex organic molecules, making the emergence or survival of life exceedingly difficult. Earth does provide some precedent in the form of resilient life forms, but whether Proxima B can support life in any form remains an open and deeply compelling question. Organisms that thrive in high-radiation environments offer key insights into potential extraterrestrial life. Dinococcus radiodurans, often called the world's toughest bacterium, can repair severe DNA damage, an ability that could be mirrored or even surpassed by hypothetical life forms on Proxima b. If life does exist there, it may have evolved similar advanced survival mechanisms. The planet's tidal locking could also offer a natural form of protection, its perpetually dark side may act as a refuge from intense stellar radiation, while subsurface habitats, like underground caves or oceans, could provide additional shielding. These possibilities make Proxima be an extraordinary case study for astrobiology. Studying an environment expands our understanding of what makes a world habitable. It challenges the assumption that life can only arise under Earth-like conditions and offers a practical platform to test theories about biological resilience in extreme settings. And because Proxima b is relatively close to Earth, we can monitor it using both current tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and future observatories. While the question of Proxima b's habitability and whether life actually exists there remains unanswered, its discovery has already reshaped how we think about the universe. It stands out in a growing catalog of potentially livable exoplanets. JWST is poised to deepen this exploration further. Its sensitive spectrometers can detect chemical signatures in exoplanetary atmospheres, such as water vapor, methane, and carbon dioxide, that may indicate biological activity. Analyzing these markers will be essential in assessing a planet's potential to support life. 
Although Proxima would be garnered significant attention due to its proximity and intriguing conditions, it's far from the only promising target. Other exoplanets orbiting sun-like stars, many discovered by missions such as TESS transiting exoplanet survey satellite, also hold great promise for future study. The more planets we find in their stars' habitable zones, the more it seems the universe could be brimming with possibilities for life. These discoveries also highlight the complexity of habitability itself. It's not just about distance from a star, but the interplay of factors like atmospheric composition, stellar radiation, and geological dynamics. As our space technology evolves, so does our ability to study these variables directly. Future missions may build upon the legacy of Mars rovers or target the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn to learn how life might endure in extreme or hidden environments. Such research will directly inform how we explore Earth-like exoplanets, including Proxima b. Ultimately, the search for life beyond Earth has profound implications for how we view ourselves. Proxima b may not be a second Earth, but it demonstrates that habitable conditions aren't exclusive to our planet. Our pursuit of answers demands continued innovation and exploration. In the coming decades, we may witness discoveries that transform our understanding of life and the cosmos. Whether we detect microbial organisms on Proxima b or find a planet even more Earth-like orbiting a distant star, each breakthrough brings us closer to answering one of humanity's most fundamental questions. What once belonged to the realm of science fiction is now among our most exciting scientific frontiers.